Hello, so this is Normal Rants again. This is my second video. I plan on uploading one of these every Tuesday at least. I'll try. Today my rant is about people who have small dogs and that's like, you know, teacup poodles, shih tzus, pomeranians, anything that's smaller than like this. If you can figure that out yourself, Rachel. Size wise. People who have small dogs like those, I don't care if you have a small dog like that, but what I'm annoyed at is when people have those small dogs and then they go biking, put their dogs on a leash and drag them. That's not walking your dog or running your dog, because little dogs don't run that fast. You're dragging your dog along with a bike. First off, it's very dangerous to even bike with a dog, no matter what the size. Secondly, it's really small, so if it does decide to just like go underneath your bike wheel, it could get really hurt. That's not safe for your dog. That's not safe for you because dog's underneath the bike, the bike's gonna flip, you're gonna get hurt, your dog's gonna get hurt, or your dog might be fine and run away. Then you don't have your dog anymore. So why do you bike with them? Like, it's no real purpose. Like, they're too small. They're just so small. They can't actually run. They need to walk. That's why you take them for walks, not bike drags. Not, not walks, bike drags, but no bike drags, walks. You take them for walks because they need to walk. They can't run as fast as people can because their legs are this big. Your legs are m longer and your bike wheels are bigger and it's going, their legs are only this big. They can't run that fast and they don't really have knees either. Knees help with running. And people just decide to drag their dogs along I don't know why I see this a lot, I think it's actually really bad for the dog. Because dogs like to chase things, especially bikes. And now you are on said bike. What will that accomplish? Your dog is chasing you as you're dragging it behind. And I'm pretty sure that lots of people won't even wear helmets when they're on their bikes and they have a dog, so it's gonna be like, <laughs> Nothing good is going to come from this. Nothing good will come from you dragging along a dog on a bike, no matter what its size is. But little dogs especially, like, like this. It's not a dog, it's a cat, but like this, in comparison to you. Like, you want to drag this along? No. Oh, I didn't think so. I don't think that you want to drag a dog along, because it's just horrible, and, and they're going to get hurt, and you might get hurt too, and then it's just everyone's going to get me hurt, and what's going to happen then? What's gonna happen when everyone's hurt? And everyone will be crying and in tears. So you just, it's just not, it's just not good to drag your dog along in a bike, like on a bike. Sorry, if you're on a bike, you should not drag your dog along if it's really a small dog, especially if it's a little older. Like if it's so, because they can't even run, because you know, they're just, they're just cute little old puppies and. Oh, it's just, just for the safety of your animals and for the safety of people, just... I don't understand why you do that. I don't understand what a lot of people do with the world. They just do things and don't understand and everything's not understandable and sensical. Just, why do you drag along your dog? You don't need to drag it along. Just take them for a walk. A long walk if you have to, and they're tiny. You can pick them up. If I can carry my German Shepherd, you can probably carry your little Shih Tzu or Pomeranian. Why do you drag them along with your bicycles. Why? They're just babies. Babies. They are just babies. Little babies. And they love you. They love you very much. Well, for the dogs. This was my second rant. And it was quite shorter. Like, by half. By half it was shorter than the first rant. But just, just do not drag your dogs along behind a bike. There's no need for that. 